So good day everyone, my name is Paul Jean Maropros and today I'm going to report the Rentes theory of nursing practice and career. So moving on, let's start. So let us know more about Cecilia Laurente. Cecilia Laurente is a Filipino nursing theorist who has devoted her career to assisting patients through their support systems, particularly their families. Categorization of nursing activities as observed in medical surgical ward units in selected government and private hospitals in Metro Manila. She said in a study, Cecilia Laurente is well known for her work as a nurse. She stressed excellent communication and championed using the family as an entry point to help a patient in her nursing practice theory. She graduated from the University of the Philippines with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing in 1967 and a Master's Degree in Nursing in 1973. She worked at Philippine General Hospital as a staff nurse from 1968 to 1969, as a head nurse from 1970 to 1972, and as a nursing supervisor from 1973 to 1976. In 1977 to 1979, she also worked at Metropolitan Hospital in Michigan, USA. She joined the University of the Philippines College of Nursing as an instructor in 1979 and later became the Dean of the College of Nursing at UP Manila from 1966 to 2002. Her idea was based on a study she did from January to June 1987 called Categorization of Nursing Activities as Observed in Medical Surgical Ward Units in Selected Government and Private Hospitals in Metro Manila. Laurente claims in a recent study that the other way to aid the patient is through the family, where nurses may be great of help in preventing significant issues from the start. Well, through good communication, the nurse can assist strengthen the family's term of knowledge, skills, and attitude, informed psychotherapy, modeling behavioral, cognitive behavioral, and hypnotic treatments are summarized and reviewed. So basic assumptions and concepts, anxiety, presence, communication between the client and the nurses is essential, concern, for the patient's development throughout time as a result of mutual trust between the nurse and the patient. Stimulation Words stimulate a person's powerful energy resources for healing. Predisposing and enhancing factors So, what does it mean to have a predisposing factor? Well, in these models, predisposing factors are described as those that have an effect prior to behavior occurring by raising or decreasing a person's population's motivation to engage in that action. So under predisposing factors, we have age, sex, civil status, educational status, length of work, and experience. In enhancing factors, we have communication, beliefs and attitude, one's caring experience, what patients tell about the nurse, learning caring at school, coping mechanism, and feeling good. So that is my report on Laurentes theory of nursing practice and career. Thank you for listening everyone and have a good day.